myself I need to get more comfortable because cha I'm gonna be preaching today you are enough you're enough for the people that are meant for you you're enough for yourself choosing you is not selfish choosing you is self-preservation think before you automatically react do not respond by reaction don't be reactionary mistakes happen all the time accidents happen all the time but it's how you come out of that and the person that you become once you come out of that that matters the most you don't have to explain yourself to anybody you can literally say no and call it a day no is a response to you having to explain your actions to anybody not a chance you don't have to do that at all at all so let people talk it is okay the just of it is live your life authentically to you they're gonna keep talking Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. I was thinking about this a lot and I thought that I should just do a little bit of a reminders that you never thought you needed. Now, the only reason, honestly, the only reason why I'm doing this video today is because I think we all need a little bit of encouragement. We're at that time of the yeah where we are just so fatigued we are so tired we're feeling quite overwhelmed we're feeling quite worried and stressed about did we actually achieve what we wanted to achieve this year have we met our goals or have we actually regressed was it a year that we thought was going to be great or is it a year that actually just turned out really really terrible or did it turn out even better and i think a lot of us need these words of encouragement especially going into the last quarter of the year this is going to be part of the vlogtober content so it's not all gloom and doom it's not all the end of the world there is still another chance there is still another opportunity it's not your story is not over yet so i wrote down a little bit of reminders that really help me get through especially when i am going through a really tough time so i have um a note in my notepad on my phone which is here um i have a note in my notepad where i write reminders that i never thought i needed and every single time i'll write something down if i see a great quote i'll write it down if i see something encouraging i write it down if i am feeling down and low in the dumps about myself and about my life currently at the moment and i see something that is encouraging or i see something that just makes me feel a little bit better that makes me feel like it's not all over yet you know it's not all gloom and doom then i'll write it down so i've got some reminders reminders that I've written down here for me and I thought that I would share them with you so that even if you're sitting over there and you're thinking to yourself I don't know man I don't know if I'm doing right I don't know if I'm doing wrong I think I may have messed this up with this person I think I may have messed up at work or whatever and you're really feeling down in the dumps or you're feeling just fatigued and tired and you don't know what the next move is these are the reminders that you never thought you needed. I really hope you'll take this one into cognizant and actually take it in because I think this is one that is thrown around quite a lot, but the value and the importance behind those words are really 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 significant. So, you are enough. You're enough for the people that are meant for you. You're enough for yourself. You will always be more than enough for those who are meant to be around you, for those who are meant to share the same space as you. If you do not feel enough for someone or for something, then that thing was not meant for you. You will always be enough in the body that you have, with the mind that you have, with the financial situation that you are currently in, with anything that you may be going through at this time, you are enough. You don't need to change yourself. I need to get more comfortable because ja, I'm going to be preaching today. You don't need to change yourself to feel like you're going to be enough for the next person. You are enough as is. You are enough for those you are meant to be with and for those you are meant to be around and you'll always be more than enough for yourself. It just leads me to the next point, okay? Choosing yourself, choosing you 
is not selfish. Choosing you is self-preservation. All of us need to choose ourselves at some point. If you are choosing yourself in terms of healing your trauma and working on yourself and going to therapy and seeing a coach, if you are choosing yourself in the sense that you want to treat yourself, you want to prioritize things like me time, you want to spend money on yourself, you want to do things for yourself that you never did before because you are constantly working on others, helping others, uh, um, supporting others and all of this. And now you've tapped into a place and a time and a moment in your life where you want to choose yourself. That is not selfish. That is preservation. It is so important to constantly have moments where you remind yourself that I matter too. And if I matter too, if I can do this for my sister, why am I not doing it for myself? If I can do this for my friend, why am I not doing this for myself? If I can buy my friend a really great birthday present, why am I not buying myself one? If I can be my friend's confidant and she can sit and talk to me and I can advise her in the best way I can, but I struggle to advise myself, why am I not consulting someone to help me in this and choose myself and choose my healing from my trauma. Why am I not choosing myself? Choosing yourself is self-preservation. Nothing about it is selfish. And I think in the society that we live in, there's something that's always been preached about how choosing yourself is quite selfish and you know, you need to consider other people. No man is an island. Absolutely not. You can still choose others, but your first priority must always be choosing yourself for the embitterment of you. That's all. I said that. This is also really important. Your words are powerful. Think before you respond. Reacting before you respond is a really, really, really uh, bad thing that can actually land you in very unfortunate spaces. Think before you say something to someone. Think before you automatically react. Do not respond by reaction don't be reactionary just don't be that okay think about whatever you're going to say because whatever comes out of your mouth to the person that it's directed to is going to land and it's going to stick so try to make sure that whatever comes out of your mouth is constructive it's not it can be critical, but in from a nurturing place and not from a place where you're trying to hurt or disappoint or harm the other person. Um, whatever you say must come from a place where you are very cognizant of how the words that come out of your mouth are going to land to the next person. So really think about what you say. Words are really powerful. Um, actions are powerful as well, but words linger a lot longer in someone's mind and someone's heart. So whatever it is that you are saying, especially when you're dealing with a more uh, personal relationship as opposed to work or colleagues or anything like that. If you're dealing with a family member, a friend, a partner, words are really, really powerful and you can really make someone's day or you can destroy it. And not only just their day, you, you can literally destroy their mental health or you can actually make them feel like they're on top of the world. So your words are really, really powerful. Be very careful before you respond. Even if it means you need to take like a minute, then take a minute before you respond. This is a simple one and I think we've all uh, heard this one before. Making mistakes is a part of life. There's nothing that is new about making mistakes. So be a little bit kinder to yourself. What is really important is the direction in which you take after the mistake has been made. What are you learning from the mistake that you've made? Are you giving up or are you going to try again? So how you react to the mistake that you have made is what determines, uh, is what separates, you know, leaders, is what separates uh, uh, um, uh, people who are intentionally choosing a good life or choosing themselves 
or intentionally choosing to do good from people who just don't care. So what you do after that mistake is what should be more important. Mistakes happen all the time. Accidents happen all the time. But it's how you come out of that and the person that you become once you come out of that that matters the most. How you do it, how you react to it. Again, watch how you react to it. But also that is what determines the kind of person you're trying to become and the kind of person that you will be in the future. So mistakes happen, just go a little bit easy on yourself, okay? Okay. Real, true, authentic love is not meant to be a struggle. It's not meant to be difficult. It's not meant to leave you in tears all the time. It's not meant to feel like it's a constant fight, like you're in a boxing ring and you're constantly just protecting and defending yourself. And now you need to have all these walls around you. Real love is seamless. It really, really is. It's easy. It's seamless. Even when you make mistakes, even when you, you say things that you didn't mean, even when you disappoint the person you love, even when whatever, but real, true, authentic love is seamless. It's not going to be a struggle. It should not be traumatizing to you all in the name of love. That's not how love works. Okay, so I really would like you to remember that it should be easy and free flowing and fun and filling like it should fulfill each and every fiber of your being. And um, that's what authentic, true love should feel like. If it comes with other things that hurt you or put you in a, 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 a bad place, a bad state of mind, a bad mental space, it is conditional. That is not true love. It isn't because we've all heard that true love is unconditional and that is true. How many times have we disappointed our parents, the people that we love, um, uh, our children and whatever, but we still, our siblings, our friends, but we still have such an incredible overflowing love for, the, for those people. That is true, authentic love. You can hurt those people and they can hurt you. But at the end of the day, you don't see your life without them, right? It doesn't mean that you will not make mistakes even with people that you love. But it shouldn't be a struggle. You shouldn't have walls up. You shouldn't be uh, worried, scared all the time about what's going to happen, what's going to come out of this, what's going to be this. Absolutely not. Not with true authentic love. Absolutely not. Practicing gratitude and being grateful for where you are, what you have, what you don't have, and all of that is a great way to practice appreciation for what you have. It's a great way to be intentional about knowing that even though times are tough, I am still grateful that I get to wake up in the morning. I'm still grateful that I have a job, even though I do not earn as much as I used to. I'm still grateful that I still get to engage with my family members. I am still grateful that I have a strong support system. I am still grateful that I get to eat every day. Practicing gratitude, even with the smallest things, is a great way to show the appreciation you have for the life that you have and the life that you are currently living. So practicing gratitude means intentional living, which is a lot of the time what I preach with my clients a lot is that the whole purpose of you being here and me coaching you is because you have chosen to say yes to intentional living and practicing gratitude means exactly that. It means you are saying that I am mindful and I'm appreciative of the life that I have. Things are not perfect right now things are not great right now man things are not great right now but i am thankful for the life that i have i am thankful that i get to try every single day that's it there's nothing as powerful as practicing gratitude and practicing intentional and mindful living. That is why it's one of my biggest, biggest focal points when I'm coaching. It's really, really powerful and it changes not only how you think, but it changes how you react to situations, to people, to circumstances. It really changes how you react, especially when you practice, practice gratitude and mindful living. Very, very, very important. 
Here's another thing. You do not need to explain what you want or the decisions that you make or how you go about something to anyone. You do not need to explain yourself to anyone. It will also lead me to the next point that adds that you can say no and call it a day. You don't have to say no and explain. You don't have to explain yourself to anybody. You can literally say no and call it a day. No is a response. All on its own. It is a solid response. That is, that's all you need. Say no, call it a day. That's it. We're done. It's over. That's it. Especially also at the, in, the, in the context that you do not need to explain yourself to anybody. You really don't need to explain yourself to anyone. So you can say no. And that's a solid enough response and you don't need to explain the decisions that you make to anybody. You've got identification, you've got social security to the Americans that are watching this, if there are any. You've got identification that says you are above 18 or you're above 21. However, it's seen in your part of the world. You are a grown up and you can do whatever you choose to do be mindful that there are always consequences for your actions but you having to explain your actions to anybody not a chance you don't have to do that at all at all people will always have something to say about you let them talk people will always have something to say about you let them talk Give them something to talk about. Whether it's going to be something positive, whether it's going to be something negative. I remember saying in one of my last videos that there are people who are probably hate watching me right now. They're like, she's not even that. She doesn't practice that kind of living. She is lying. She's this, this. That's fine. People are always going to find things to say or how to react or how to be when it comes to you let them talk in actual fact give them something to talk about because the just of it is you are going to live your life authentically and you're going to live it for you you're not going to live it for somebody else because at the end of the day no matter what you do someone will talk someone will say negative things someone will say whatever hey don't care damn. Let them talk. I used to care a damn. I really did. And sometimes I do, but it depends who you are in my life. But if I do not know you and you want to have an opinion about how I dress or about my hair or about the fact that this and this, please be my guest. Because at that point, I don't know you enough to engage you with your opinion. So let people talk. It is okay. The just of it is live your life authentically to you. They're going to keep talking. Okay. Give them Rest. Rest is necessary and it is a resource and not a reward. You do not treat rest as if it's a reward. Oh, I'm going to work and work and work and work. I used to do this a lot. Oh, I'm going to work and work and work. I'm going to push work. I'm going to push this. I'm going to push this. And then I'm going to rest. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. Do not treat rest as a reward. Rest is a resource. You need to rest. It is mandatory. It is absolutely positively necessary for you to function well in the world. Resting is so, so important. Do not look at rest as an, a reward because you have worked so hard and you have pushed so much and you have done this and that and the other. It is not. It is not and should not have to be. Okay, that's all I'm saying to you. That's all I'm saying to you. It is not and it should not have to be. It should not have to be. I think that makes sense. <laughs> okay. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is the reminders that you needed to hear. Okay. And I hope that they help you. If you think they're going to help someone else, please pass on the video to them. Send them the link to this video. Please also like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you enjoyed this video, please show me some love and donate a little thanks to the channel. Give Pass me through a little bit of a donation or join the membership space 
space, I really would appreciate that so, so much. It'll help me keep going in terms of producing the channel. Content creators are really going through a tough time right now. So if you can spare a little bit, please do support your favorite content creators and do watch their Vlogtober content. Do watch their content. Like the videos. Do not just watch and then be like, nam, dam, it really doesn't cost you anything to just give it a free 99 just a like baby um so thank you so much for choosing me over and over again i hope this video helped you in some way shape or form and if it did thank you that's so great i'm so glad that it re really reinvigorated you a little bit until the next video i will see you very very soon until then sayonara